Hello, my name is Kizix, and I was starting up a new account when I hit 28 Thieving and I saw Isle of Stores chests have been unlocked. Personally, I've never done these, and I was like, hmm, just how good are they? Are they worth doing for profit and or for scaling? Today, I hope to answer that question for you and me both. For those of you who don't know, Soul Wars, the minigame, was released on February 9th, 2009, which also introduced the Isle of Souls and the Isle of Souls dungeon. For now, the Isle of Souls dungeon um, has some random mobs thrown in it, but it also has a chest in the back of it. This chest has some unique features. The chest can be lockpicked, and it does respawn instantly. It also includes an incredibly annoying mechanic in which a trap has a uh, 1 in 6 chance of being triggered and teleporting you outside of the dungeon if you fail, which will waste about a minute of your life getting back to the chest every time. The drop table for the dungeon is fairly uninteresting overall, and you can see that here. But the, the real interesting item come that comes from this chest is the dark key, um, which is a 1 in 200 drop chance. This chest can be located under the crumbling post tower. We'll get deeper into that aspect later. For running the basic chest, if you're going to do this, I highly recommend having a gem bag, a herb sack, and you need a lock pick. The two bags will decrease the number of times you'll be required to go and bank. The lockpick will make your chances of success better and therefore reduce the number of times you're going to trigger that trap. Unfortunately, I didn't have the two bags during my runs, but I would make the effort to go and get them if I were to do this again. The good news is, uh, should you need to bank, it is still fairly convenient as there is a bank right next to the start of Soul Wars. Each unlock is worth about 150 thieving xp during my 2000 test unlocks the average chest unlock was about 680 gp per open now that we have all of that information out of the way how good is this method the answer is is it depends shown here is the chance of success depending on if you have a lock pick or not and your thieving level it takes approximately one second to open the chest, so you could, in theory, have, with perfect RNG and psycho focus, open it about 3,600 times an hour. For both easy math and it was about the time, each time you teleported, it wastes approximately one minute, so you lose out on potentially 60 unlocks per trap trigger. So using this handy dandy linear function, 3,600 plus negative 60 x equals y x being the number of times the trap triggers you can determine how many opens we are going to get and taking the average golden xp per open this is what the numbers look like per hour theoretically with a hundred percent success rate you could be getting 540,000 xp an hour with a hourly profit of 2.4 million however we live in a world where that is highly unlikely, so your mileage is going to vary wildly based on if you have a lockpick and what your current thieving level is at. Now, back to that dark key. We were talking about it earlier. It's those interesting drop from these chests, and it allows you to unlock ch the chests underneath the crumbling tower. Um, here's a drop table from that dungeon. I calculated the theoretical average of the drop table at about 26.6 thousand per open. Assuming you can get the key once every 200 opens that will give you about 162,000 per 200 opens and because the dark chest uh, gives you about 1,500 XP per open 31,500 XP per 200 opens do note the dark chests are also trapped and the trap does do 10 damage per activation but it's fairly inconsequential because the dark keys do stack I would recommend stacking the keys and then doing it all in one go rather than every 200 or every time you got a dark key going over the crumbling post just to save you some time in conclusion is this method good for xp if you're super lucky absolutely are you going to be stupid lucky probably not and that's basically what is the same for you know making money as well it's just an issue of are you lucky enough Overall, I'd say this is actually a fairly tedious and frustrating method for skilling and making money, primarily because of the teleportation trap. I think without it, it would be a lot more enjoyable and interesting of an experience, but because of that trap, I think it just ruins it. 
And yeah, that's my thoughts. My name is Kuzix, and I hope to see you next time.